Hi, uh, welcome to NetView CCTV. Uh, this is a brief guide to show you how to install a couple of hard drives or even one hard drive inside a Hikvision 8 channel NVR. Uh, the model I'm going to be using is the DS7608NI-E2 forward slash 8P with the 8 POE ports. I'm going to be installing two hard drives inside, each with a capacity of 4 terabytes to give me a total capacity inside the NVR of 8 terabytes. Uh, these are brand new out of the box, out of the package. And uh, the NVR we're going to install them into is the 8 channel, uh, 8 PoE ports there, uh, Hitvision 7608 NI uh, NVR. Uh, I've took the cover off uh, at the same time. I'll just show you how it went on. It went on like this, took out the screws, put them aside safely. They're the case screws, um, three screws on each side and two on the back for the case, which I put aside safely as well. Slid the case off and uh, we can see inside. We have uh, capacity for two hard drives there. Uh, along uh, these two bays just there with the uh, four screw holes for each hard drive. Uh, both will be connected up to the motherboard, to the SATA connectors and the power just there. Inside our box we had two SATA connectors, that's for the data, and one power connector which would power both the hard drives from the motherboard. Right, on the back of each hard drive there are four mounting screws, screw holes, one, two, three, four, which will co correspond to the four holes inside the case. Uh, as a tip, I normally find it easy to connect the cables up to the hard drives before inst installing, um, just to ensure you get a firm connection. Um, and it's easier done before them inside the case and there we go you can see that that's quite firmly in the second drive will connect to that one and that's for the data there you go now on this uh, model itself the, the hard drives go sideways facing towards the center and carefully match the screw holes to the screw holes on the case it's a bit fiddly but then you're going to have to hold that in place while lifting the case I'm going to take my hard drive screw and carefully align there you go I can just see if I see one and thread that you can't see this but I'm going to thread it on with my hand a couple of threads just so it starts uh, there we go I'm gonna grab my screwdriver tighten my first thread up I'm still holding the the hard drive in place it's not tight yet and you can see I haven't tightened this up yet so I can align all the screws up just gently tighten that up, put my other screws in three and number four Hard drive is now held. Now we can tighten the screws up firmly. There we go. So that's one hard drive securely in place. We can connect the SATA cable to the motherboard, which will 
the two SATA connectors are there. So the first blue cable, SATA cable will connect and clip in. There you go. Um, and the power connector can go after we've connected the second hard drive. So the second hard drive we're going to install just there, facing the center again. Connect the cable up first, make it easier. Connect the second power cable up. So this will go face this way inside. So we'll connect it. To, there we go, just there. There we go. Make sure it's quite secure. Can you see that? One for the data and one for the power. Again, same as previously. Align them quite loosely. There we go. Stand nice, roughly about there. And align, I can see the screw holes just there. So I'm going to hold that in place while I tip the case over and I can align my screw holes with the holes in the case. I'll get a couple of threads on just to hold it. It's a bit fiddly. There we go. Got one in. Tighten that up loosely. I can now actually turn it upside down. See my other screw holes. One, two, three, four. I've not tightened them up yet. Just check it's not snagging any cables anywhere. No, that's fine. That's secure. That's secure. Now, set the, it's firmly put it into the case. Now I'm going to push and tighten each one of the screws up. There we go. Now, second SATA cable, and I'll connect connect to the to the second SATA connector on the board. There we go. Can you see that? So, so each of the SATA connectors from each drive is connected to the motherboard. Now the power cable, they're already connected to, to each hard drive. And this then, uh, the four pin Molex connector will connect to the Molex connector on the board. Just there. Firmly in, and there, and tidy that cable up. There we go. I normally put a cable tie around these cables, tidy them up a little bit. Good air circulation within the within the case. There we go. Just to crop that excess off. Careful not to cut any of the cables. Both hard drives fitted correctly. All secure. Connectors are secure. Check, check, check. And we're good to go. And that's our 8 channel NVR with the hard drives connected. Let's find the case. 
cover, put the case back on, there we go, two screws at the back, Three screws on each side, one, two, three, same on the other side, one, two, three, and we have a unit with two hard drives connected, ready to connect up to your monitor. Now remember, the first thing we've got to do is run through the wizard, and we have to make sure we initialize the hard drive uh, for them to start working and recording. I uh, hope you found this useful. And uh, please do take time to see my other videos. Uh, and thanks for watching. Bye.